How much can we customise the generated RTF reports? We have tremendous flexibility there, Scott, and we'll create a sample SRS template to demonstrate. Let me invoke the rich text editor and then create a new template. I'll base the template on the built-in requirements template to give us a head start. So here's our starting point, and we can start by editing a title page. Can you include a company logo on that title page? Sure, we simply embed an image to do that. Now we can adjust the title accordingly. Now we don't want this heading text to be included in the table of contents, so let's uh, adjust the fonts. And we'll use our corporate colours. Now to finish off the title page, we can include a date and time field. That's built in to the editor. So we'll separate that onto its own page. And then we can get on with the rest of the document. Is it easy to include a table of contents? Yes, that's another built-in option for the editor. Just choose it from the context menu and align it accordingly. Uh, again, separate that also into its own page. And now we're left with the model content and the structure of that. So you see the uh, yellow sections here uh, denote which part of the model we're reporting on, packages, the diagrams contained within those packages, and then the elements and so forth. Is it possible to make a change to the element, such as uh, including its author? Yes. Uh, why don't we uh, include that field now? We've got an empty cell in this table which we'll use. Now we want to insert a field, the author field of an element, and like the other cells, we'll give an appropriate label. So the author information for each element will now be included in the generated report. Notice too that in the sections tree on the left, uh, we can quickly include or exclude entire sections of the document. Uh, say for example, we wanted to include diagrams or uh, to exclude the child packages, we can do that. And we can also change uh, the ordering as well, say to uh, put the diagrams before the elements or vice versa. Can we start each package on its own page? Uh, yes, putting a page break in uh, between each of the packages will do that. So now we've got a basic starting structure for our template. Uh, we can save that, generate it, and then view the result. Here's our title page, just as we designed. The table of contents on its own page. And then we get into the document proper, where the packages are starting to be reported on. And notice this time, the packages are separated each on their own page. Now the element information we included is there, the author field in amongst the uh, various element fields there. And so this is a very quick overview of just some of the things we can do using Enterprise Architect's RTF template editor.